Right now, a private company called Myriad Genetics owns a piece of your body. That's a really bad idea. It patented two genes, breast cancer one and two, or BRCA one and two. Certain mutations on these genes give women a strong chance of getting breast or ovarian cancer. The problem is, Myriad Genetics says because of the patents, it's the only one allowed to test these genes. That's more than a bad idea. The law says no one can get a patent on products of nature or laws of nature. But Myriad says once it removes the genes from your body, it owns them. That's not how the law works. For example, you can't patent a mineral. Take iron. It's found in rock. To use iron, you have to remove it from the rock. Now, you can patent the process of removing iron from rock, and you can patent the things you make from that iron, but you cannot patent the iron itself, even after you take it out of the rock, because it's still iron. That makes sense, right? Well, the same laws apply when it comes to your genes. Right now, only Myriad Genetics is allowed to test for mutations on BRCA1 and 2. You have to pay them big bucks for the test because there's no competition. And in most cases, you can't get a second test elsewhere, which you'd probably want if you were thinking about removing your breasts or ovaries. And no scientists outside of Myriad can work on these genes to offer better tests to patients or help find a cure. Are you getting the picture? It's a really bad idea. The US Supreme Court is about to decide whether a private company like Myriad can own a piece of us. Let's tell the world what we think.